Unit 6, Lesson 10, The Distributive Property, Part 2. Number 1. Here is a rectangle. A. Explain why the area of the large rectangle is 2 times A plus 3 times A plus 4 times A. This section is worth 2 times A. This section is worth 3 times A. And this section is worth 4 times A. B. Explain why the area of the rectangle is 2 plus 3 plus 4 times A. When 2 plus 3 plus 4 is inside a set of parentheses, that means that the sum of 2 plus 3 plus 4 will be multiplied by A. Since 2 plus 3 is 5 and 5 plus 4 is 9, the sum would be 9. So this represents 9 times A. The smaller rectangle's dimensions are 2 times A, the dimensions of the rectangle in the middle are 3 times A, and the dimensions of the rectangle on the right are 4 times A. If you add them all up, you get 9 times A. The larger rectangle's area is 9 times A, or you can look at it as the area of all three of the rectangles, 2A plus 3A plus 4A, equals 9 times A. Number 2 is the area of the shaded rectangle 6 times 2 minus m or 6 times m minus 2. Explain how you know. Well the dimensions of this larger rectangle are 6 times m and the dimensions of the smaller rectangle are 6 times 2. So if you were to remove the smaller rectangle from the larger rectangle, that would be 6 times m minus 2 times 6, which is the same thing as 6 on the outside times m minus 2. So the expression that represents the shaded area is 6 times m minus 2. Number 3. Choose the expressions that do not represent the total area of the rectangle select all that apply. The rectangle on the left is 5 times t, and the rectangle on the right is 4 times t. So a would work 5 times t plus 4 times t. And if you add together 5t plus 4t, you get 9t. So c would work 9t, or 9 times t. t times 5 is the same as 5 times t, and t times 4 is the same as 4 plus t. So 5 times t plus 4 times t, or 5t plus 4t, which equals 9t, or 9 times t, just like option C. So t times 5 plus 4, or option E, also works. But we were supposed to find the options that do not work. The options that do not work are options B and D as option B represents t plus 5 plus 4, which is t plus 9, and option D represents 4 times 5 times t, which is equivalent to 20t, or 20 times t. Number 4. Evaluate each expression mentally. A. 35 times 91 minus 35 times 89. That would be the same as 35 times 91 minus 89. 91 minus 89 is 2, and 35 times 2 equals 70. We were able to evaluate this expression mentally easily because 35 times 2 is an easy multiplication problem, and 91 minus 89 is an easy subtraction problem. B. 22 times 87 plus 22 times 13. Since 87 and 13 are both being multiplied by 22, we can bring the 22 down and multiply it by the sum of 87 and 13. 87 plus 13 equals 100, and 22 times 100 equals 2200 or 2200. It's easy to evaluate these expressions because the evaluations can be done without a paper and pencil and without a calculator. In this example, the sum of 87 and 13 was easy, and so was finding the product of 22 and 100. C. 9 elevenths times 7 tenths minus 9 elevenths times 3 tenths. 
What they have in common is 7 tenths and 3 tenths are both being multiplied by 9 elevenths. So we'll bring down the 9 over 11 and multiply it by the difference of 7 tenths and 3 tenths. 7 tenths minus 3 tenths equals 4 tenths. 9 times 4 equals 36, and 11 times 10 equals 110. 36 over 110 can be reduced. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. 110 divided by 2 equals 55. 18 over 55. This problem looked a little bit scarier because it was dealing with fractions, but it was still easy to do mentally because we recognized the 9 over 11 being multiplied by both the 7 tenths and the 3 tenths. The subtraction problem, 7 tenths minus 3 tenths, was easy because they both had common denominators. 7 minus 3 was easy to do mentally. 9 times 4 was easy to do mentally. 11 times 10 was easy to do mentally. 36 divided by 2 was easy. And 110 divided by 2 was also easy. Number 5. Select all the expressions that are equivalent to 4b, or 4 times b. a is b plus b plus b plus b, or 4 times b, so that would work. b is b plus 4, that's not going to work because we're looking for 4 times b. c, 2b plus 2b, or 2 times b plus 2 times b, that would work. d b times b times b times b. That would not work. b times b times b times b is the same thing as b to the power of 4. For example, if b were worth 5, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is not the same as 4 times 5, because 4 times 5 would be 20. So if b were 5, 4 times b would be the same thing as 4 times 5, and 4 times 5 is 20, but 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is not 20. E. B divided by 1 fourth. Now I know that b divided by 1 fourth is the same as b times 4, because when we're dividing by a fraction, we're really multiplying by the fraction's reciprocal. So b times 4 equals 4b. So b divided by 1 fourth would also work. The answers would be a, c, and e. Number 6. Solve each equation. Show your reasoning. a. 111 equals 14 grams. That can be rewritten as 14 grams equals 111. In order to get the g by itself, I'd have to divide by 14. That would leave me with 1g, because 14 divided by 14 is 1. And 1g is the same as g. Now I'd have to do that to the other side. 111 divided by 14. B. 13 and 65 hundredths equals h plus 4 and 88 hundredths. That can be rewritten as 13 and 65 hundredths minus 4 and 88 hundredths equals h. And the difference between 13 and 65 hundredths and 4 and 88 hundredths is 8 and 77 hundredths. So h equals 8 and 77 hundredths. C. K plus one third equals five and one eighth. That can be rewritten as five and one eighth minus one third equals K. Five and one eighth is the same as forty one eighths. So forty one eighths minus one third equals K. Now we need to find a common denominator. To find a common denominator, I'm going to multiply the eight by three and that gives me 24, and the 3 times 8. That also gives me 24. So the common denominator is going to be 24. So I needed to multiply the 41 by the same number that I multiplied the denominator by. So 41 times 3 is 123. And since I multiplied the denominator on the other fraction by 8, I need to multiply its numerator by 8. 1 times 8 equals 8. So my new subtraction problem is 123 24 minus 8 24 and 123 minus 8 is 115. 115 24 
115 24 really means 115 divided by 24 and that equals 4 and 19 24 so your answer could be 115 24 or 4 and 19 24 d 2 fifths m equals 17 fourths that can be rewritten as 2 fifths times m equals 17 fourths and since we're solving for m and we need to get the m by itself we can rewrite this problem as 17 fourths divided by 2 fifths equals m and when you're dividing fractions you're really multiplying by the reciprocal so 17 fourths times the reciprocal of 2 fifths which is 5 halves equals 85 eighths and 85 eighths means 85 divided by 8 m equals 10 and 5 eighths or 85 eighths e 5 and 16 hundredths equals 4n this can be rewritten as 4n equals 5 and 16 hundredths and since we're solving for n we have to get the n by itself so we will divide it by 4 4 divided by 4 equals 1 and 1n is the same as n we also need to divide the other side by 4 5 and 16 hundredths divided by 4 equals 1 and 29 hundredths so n equals 1 and 29 hundredths number 7 Andre ran five and a half laps of a track in eight minutes at a constant speed. It took Andre X minutes to run each lap. Select all the equations that represent this situation. The eight minutes that he ran divided by the five and a half laps will equal the amount of time that it took him to run each lap. So eight divided by five and a half equals X. E represents this situation with x equals 8 divided by 5 and a half. 8 divided by 5 and a half equals x is the same as x times 5 and a half equals 8. So if x times 5 and a half equals 8, then 5 and a half times x would also equal 8. I like to use easy examples like this to help me remember how to set this up properly. Since 20 divided by 10 equals 2, then 2 times 10 equals 20, and 10 times 2 also equals 20. I can use this simple example to help me figure out which equations are represented in this situation for number 7. This is set up just like the simple example that I like to use, except the numbers are a bit more confusing, but the pattern's the same. 8 divided by 5 and a half equals x can be rewritten as x times 5 and a half equals 8 or 5 and a half times x equals 8 and a represents this situation with 5 and a half times x equals 8. Congratulations you've completed unit 6 lesson 10 the distributive property part 2.